Hey guys, welcome back to Decorate with Dana. So in today's video, I thought that I would share with you a little bit of office um, makeover, not really a makeover. I just wanted to change up the decor a little bit. You guys know if you've been around, I loved my blush pink and I do have a few little blush pink pieces still in here, but I like to change it up so I don't get sick of it. And I was starting to get a little like not as inspired, I guess, when I was in here working. So I just wanted to refresh it a little bit. 99% of this stuff I shopped my home for. The only things I bought, which were not specifically for this room, it was just kind of a last minute decision. Like I should just change up my office. I'm not feeling like I want to sit in here much. Um, they're just pieces that I purchased because I liked them. And I think it was mostly just like two new plants or something from the hearth and hand line. Other than that, um, everything else I had and I just shot my home and just wanted to give this room a little refresh so I was feeling a little bit more inspired, I guess, to work in here more. So that's what I did. So I've actually already done it. I am filming this the next day. This is just a little sneak peek back behind me, but I thought I would share that with you. But I have one more thing I wanted to share with you that I am super excited about. So. I am going to, I have this channel, Decorate with Dana, and YouTube generally will only recommend any videos that I put out that are strictly decorating only. And, you know, decorating videos are probably my favorite to film and I love them, but I do have other things that I want to share with you guys. I want to share more cooking, maybe like what's for dinner recipes, shopping, vlogs, hauls, um, you know, that don't always pertain to just decorating, maybe some cleaning motivation, some organizing, day in the life, just other stuff other than decorating. So I am going to start a second channel and it's just going to be called Dana Brewer. So I am going to leave that link down in the description box. I will hopefully be uploading a video by the end of the weekend or the beginning of next week, my very first video on there. So I would love your guys' support if you like, you know, other types of video content too. There will always be weekly videos, decorating videos on this channel. That will not stop. That is my passion. That is what I love to do. But I do have other stuff I want to share with you guys. And I want to create more content. And it's just really hard to do that when you are limited to one thing. YouTube likes to, to just stay with one like niche. So I figure if I can create the second channel and um, put all other different types of content. Like I said, I really love like cooking content and stuff because I love to watch it. I get different ideas. And so I love to share, I would love to share that with you guys. So, you know, maybe meal plans and grocery hauls. And like I said, just anything else, day in the life, you know, all different kinds of stuff. So I hope that you guys will check that channel out and subscribe if you guys are gonna you know love that kind of content too and turn the notification bell on so that as soon as i upload that first video you will get notified that it is up there so that is just some exciting news i wanted to share with you guys i hope you are excited like i am i hope that you will support me like you guys are so awesome and support me on this channel and i'm excited for this journey and to see where this goes. So that being said, I rambled enough. I am going to go ahead and get into the video. I okay, so here is the current state of my office. Don't get me wrong, I absolutely love this. I just, you know, I'm home, I'm still home. I mean, I am still working, but I mean, you know, we all can't really go much of anywhere else. We're still at home for a good couple weeks at least, so. You know, I'm just gonna shop my house and change it up a little bit. I've had the pink in here for quite some time. There may be still pieces of pink, like that pink ottoman, I love that. Um, so there may be still a little bit of pink in here, but for the most part, I just wanna kind of make it a little bit more modern farmhouse, just to change it up for a while. So all I'll be doing is taking down the pink decor and putting it in a bin labeled blush pink decor down in my decor stash downstairs, and I'm sure, I can guarantee I will be pulling it out and doing it again at some point. So one of the things I really want to do is I want to take this table out. I have a bookshelf that was in our spare bedroom that I think I want to put down here. It's just narrow enough that it'll fit perfectly. I measured it so it'll fit perfectly between the windows. It will give me a little bit more storage or really just more area to decorate. I mean, let's be honest. But 
Um, and I think I love this table. It's just not really the style that I'm going for in this room. I may eventually paint it or do something else with it, but for now I'm gonna take it out and I'm gonna replace it with a bookshelf. And then this piece I did get on Facebook Marketplace. I love it, it is an old stereo cabinet. I do wanna paint it. It's not quite the color that I want anymore. Um, and then I wanna take out the speakers there. So I'm gonna do that probably in the spring, but I'm gonna be honest, it's or in the, in the summer, but it's gonna be after I paint my kitchen cabinets because they're taking priority right now. So, uh, but I do wanna take this out and replace it and put new handles and everything on it, take out the speakers and do something else creative there. So, uh, but for now it, it will stay in here, but I just wanted to give you an update on wanted, what I wanted to do with that eventually. So I did also wanna add in that I did not buy anything for this project. I am literally shopping my home for everything. Um, I just wanna show you that you can totally not totally, but you can transform or change a room a little bit just by moving decor in your own house around. So that's what I'm going to be doing in here. And then one more thing, this is the old mirror from my bathroom, my what was my powder room downstairs. We'd replaced it a while ago with a different mirror. I do wanna take this and get framed out. I love the oval framing. I don't know if Michaels does oval frames, so if somebody could let me know or where I could possibly go to get this framed out. I love the oval mirror, and I probably would like to get it framed out and hang it between these two windows above the, because it's a small bookshelf that I'm putting up. Um, or that I'm putting here. So it has plenty of space to hang like a pretty mirror or something. So I would like to do that. I just need to get it framed out and I just am not really sure where I could go do that. So if anybody has any suggestions, I'd be happy to hear them.
Did you ever stop and think why spend too much time just getting ready? Let me be honest. I don't know a single thing that I haven't done to make you notice me. Let me be real here. When I see you, my heart starts racing, but I don't know if I like this chasing and playing and waiting around. It's a shame that my hands start shaking. So here is an overview of the room. Not a huge drastic change, just changed up some of the decor, shopped my own house for just about everything. Some things I did recently purchase, but they were not purchased specifically for this room. I wasn't sure where I was gonna use them, I just liked them. So coming over here, I the biggest change obviously was this bookshelf and I tried to keep it relatively simply decorated. So one thing that I recently purchased that I love, and it wasn't specifically for here, is this hanging basket or hanging pot from 
Target. This is of the part of the new Hearth and Hand collection. I love this plant. I will definitely be going back to get a couple more of these to put around. So it does have a hanger back there. I like this one on the actual shelf because it kind of trails over the side, but um, I definitely want some to hang around in different areas as well. And so basically, like I said, I just kept it pretty simple. And again, I really want to get that mirror framed out, um, that oval mirror and hang it in here if it fits right. So again, let me know if you guys know anywhere that I could go get an oval mirror framed out. And so this is how this bookshelf looks in here. I like this so much better than that table. I think it just fits the vibe of this room a little better. So these two chairs are the ones I purchased off of Facebook Marketplace. This is a throw that I had purchased at Pier 1 on one of their clearance sales. I think I got it for like $10. It's super soft. I love the little tassels. I just draped it over the back of this chair. And then this one, I just took one of these textured pillows from Walmart and put that there. I still have my little pink ottoman in here. I like the way it looks. And right now I don't really have anywhere else to use it, but I like it way too much to get rid of it. And I like that the wood of the legs of it match the wood of the bookshelf. So I think it looks cute. Um, and then that plant I've had there and I just keep that there. So up here on the wall, I've had this arrangement since I redid my office. I love it. This probably will never change. Um, so I just love that too much. Most of all, almost all of that is from Hobby Lobby. I think besides the little wreath in the tobacco basket is from Target. So coming down here on my desk, I have a lot of just my normal stuff that I always have over here. This is an adorable Dobo candle that I got from the Copper Candle Company on Etsy. I love it. It's in the farmhouse scent. And then this is another one of the plants from the, the new collection at the, of the Hearth and Hand line. I love this snake plant also. Super realistic looking. So I like that right here on my desk as well. And then this is the calendar that I showed you guys a couple videos ago. I will be hanging this on the wall, but I'm not exactly positive. There's a couple things I want to move around on the wall. So I'm not exactly positive where it's going to go yet. So for now, I just have it on my desk. It came with this white um, dry erase marker that you can just wash off. So change it for each month. Love this. This was over at Target. So otherwise, I just have my computer and stuff on here. And then coming back here on this old stereo cabinet that I want to paint, I just put this um, wooden crate and then just some of those the books that I DIY'd, a candle and a little greenery plant, and just kept that super simple. And then up here, I just changed out the wreath that was in this little window pane, and I got that at Target, but that was last spring, I think. And then over here on this storage cabinet that I keep a lot of arts and crafts in, I got this over at Hobby Lobby. Um, I just have another plant. I think that one came from Target a couple months ago. Target has very realistic greenery, I think. I would love to get real plants, but I've said before that um, I have cats and I'm too paranoid to bring in real plants. Um, don't mind this. My husband just added a sensor light for me. I just got to get the um, switch plate to go with it. So my only other thought is on this wall, I really want to do some kind of a big inspirational wall decal quote. So I haven't figured out exactly what I'm going to do yet. That's why I haven't hung this calendar because I'm not exactly sure if I'm going to be moving stuff around. So I would love to do that. I'm not sure exactly what I want the quote to be yet. I have a few favorites. Um, so yeah, just like a big decal that takes up a lot of that wall above that cabinet. That's what my plan is for that um, area of the wall. And then down here, I just have my little furry rug. So this is it. This is not a drastic change, but I think I just changed it up. I shopped my own house for the most part, besides those few greenery pieces that I got at Target. So I am super happy with how it turned out. Uh, if you guys like it, let me know. If you don't like it, it's okay. You don't have to like it. You just don't have to let me know. <laughs> Um, so thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you guys in my next video. If you are new, I hope you will subscribe and follow me on Instagram at decorate with Dana. I'm trying to be a little bit more active over there. 
I hope everybody is safe and well, and I will see you guys in my next video.